Hello my dear students, so this video is regarding the ICMR Group E Assistant Examination regarding the skill test, typing test and uh, some other doubts some of our students or subscribers have asked me in the comment section. So students, uh, I got the complaint that uh, the examination pattern was completely different because I have told you that you have to focus on the SSC CGL phase 1 level and the question will be of that manner. Students, in the previous year, if you check out the question papers, you can see that the examination was of that difficulty level and that model, the questions were coming. But this year, the question paper was entirely different. You were given, I came to know that you were given some of the pictorial representation and you were try, said to identify some freedom fighters, some quotes by some freedom fighters and to match the following etc. like that. Students, uh, so this, uh, this was a completely new pattern for everyone. And uh, you are asking me regarding the cutoff for the examination. So we cannot predict the cutoff for the examination. Either the cutoff may increase to a much higher value or may decrease. It all depends upon how the candidates have performed. So whatever be the case, uh, I will be updating all the uh, important alert with the ICMR Group B Assistant Examination as I have uh, brought you till here. So please don't worry about that. Okay. So if you are a new member, please make sure to subscribe and enable the bell icon. So you will, you will get important updates regarding these group B, group C examinations that I will be uploading on our channel. So students, your doubt, uh, doubt regarding the skill test and typing, stats, typing test. So skill test is for assistant. Okay. There are usually three sections for the skill test. The first one is a hundred words typing in MS Word. The second one is a PowerPoint slide. Either you have to make a PowerPoint slide or they may be asking questions related with this PowerPoint slide given to you. So these are two chances. So please uh, keep accordingly. All you have to do is you just know how to make a presentation. What are the important keys used for making some important shortcuts? The options used for making different uh, words uh, or different patterns or anything like that. How to apply an animation? You have just have need this basic knowledge. So that's very easy. It's easily available in the internet. How to use a PowerPoint and uh, anything like that. So uh, that will definitely help you. So please go through it. Then the next one is Excel sheet. As it is mentioned on the syllabus, Excel sheet. So they may be either. Uh, saying you to prepare a sheet or a tablet or something like that or you may be given a sheet and you may have to answer some questions regarding it so that is what regarding the skill test for the examination the time limit of the examination is 45 minutes and this paper is a qualifying paper with a mark of 40 percentage if you score the 40 percentage mark you can qualify for the examination the computer skill test examines the computer proficiency and knowledge of computer including usage of office suits and database for which questions pertaining to a passage or paragraph of about 100 words in MS Word, one PowerPoint presentation slide in MS PowerPoint and table in MS Excel will have to be answered within the time limit. So what is it students? Uh, something a question related to a passage or paragraph of about 100 words in MS Word and uh, one PowerPoint presentation slide in MS PowerPoint and a sheet in MS Excel. The computer skill test will be of 45 minutes duration and of total marks of 100. The paper is a qualifying nature with a percentage minimum percentage mark of 40 percentage. If you appear that much mark, you can qualify for the examination. Okay. So the next thing here is candidates shall be provided with a system having required specifications and they should create the files on the desktop of the personal computer allocated to the candidate. So these are some of the instructions you have to follow. No one will ever tell you in anywhere how to use this. So you must have this idea and try to either practice, practice it on your uh, personal computer or either watch YouTube videos regarding how to use, use, use it and all. Okay. So you have to make this an instructions clear because there is no one going to help you on uh, there. So please be aware of this how you are going to do it. So uh, the candidate should, be, uh, uh, should mention their role number and date on the top right side of each of the page of their individual files pertaining to PowerPoint presentation, letter or passage or paragraph in MS Word and MS Excel sheet or worksheet or table. The PowerPoint file created by the candidate should be saved with the file name as role number, question number. So that is very important. If your role number is uh, 10076, you have to save it like that your roll number must come followed by a hyphen and the question number okay 
dot ppt will be the format for that that is how you uh, appear for uh, you make this powerpoint presentation students this is very important information uh, even if you are uh, not attending the examination or even if you are not getting selected please share this information on any of the whatsapp group because it will definitely help your friends who are going for the examination and they need to know that otherwise it will be difficult for them okay so please keep this in mind coming to the next one the word file created by the candidate should be saved with file name as roll number or question number. If your roll number is one zero 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 seven, first name like that roll number. Give it a hyphen and give the question number. Suppose if the question number is five, you have to give hyphen question number five. You have to keep it like that. Okay. So dot doc doc will be the format by which you are going to save the word. Coming to the Excel sheet. Students, you need special practice on Excel sheet because it is not like the Word or PowerPoint. It is a little bit uh, knowledge required area on how to do it. Otherwise, you will spend a lot of time on your examination and uh, you may not get time to fill the Excel sheet. Try to practice or either watch videos or anything like that. Basic tutorials regarding how to use MX sheet, how to create a data chart and everything like that. Please go through it. Information like that. Here also, the saving is same. The Excel sheet file created by the candidate should be saved with file name as roll number hyphen question number so i don't have to say what's the format again because you all know that so uh, i have told about it on completion of the skill test the printout is required to be taken and signed by the candidate that your administrators will be may help you with that but uh, students these other about things the steps i have told you uh, their test administrator may not uh, help you uh, in this uh, things so please have a clear idea regarding it regarding the typing speed students ms word if you are using uh, i don't think that it will take a long amount of time because uh, you may successfully complete it but the ms uh, powerpoint also about 60% uh, of the candidates who are watching this video i am sure that you know how to use a powerpoint it's very easy but uh, please don't ignore MS sheet. It's something you have to uh, have a clear knowledge. If you are not from a uh, uh, such a kind of a background where you use it, tab, use it to tablet data and anything like that. Okay. So please uh, keep that in mind. Then what is the other important information I have to say is um, uh, regarding the uh, cutoff I have already said to you. It is not, uh, we cannot predict anything like that. Then... Um, if you have any other doubt, you just do one thing, comment it on the comment section. Either if I see the comment, I will reply to you or your friends coming on the comment section will definitely help you with it. So that is what regarding this video. Hope this video was helpful for you. Then I planned off uh, talking something about us, but I uh, just uh, missed it. Just to wait a minute, let me look into it. Okay, students, that's uh, regarding it. So thank you for the time being. So.